All right, so moving from the big state of Texas to Michigan. That's today's video, so stay tuned. There's a lot to cover. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Kevin Irwin. And I'm Ross Young. We are local real estate agents here in the West Michigan area. If this is your very first time coming to our channel, we go over anything and everything that has to do with living and thriving here in the West Michigan area. So whether you're moving here for the first time or maybe you already live here and you're looking to make a move, do not hesitate to reach out to us. We absolutely love hearing from you guys. You can call us, you can text us, you can send us an email, even send the pigeon care if you have to. <laughs> Whatever you guys have to do to get a hold of us, Ross and I and the team have your back when it comes to making a move here in Michigan. Okay, so Texas people, that's probably why you clicked on this video. Mm -hmm. What do you expect to move to Michigan from Texas, Ross? Man, there's gonna be a lot of changes, but Let's, let's just start with the weather. I think a lot of people are moving to Michigan because of the weather. It's not mm -hmm. hot all the time. And I know there's different parts of Texas. Texas is big. You know, the northern parts has a kind of arid win winters and whatnot. But when we think Texas, we think hot. Yes. And that's very, very typical of a lot of people that live in the, in the United States. You guys had a blizzard last year that crippled you for a couple weeks. Right. That's a normal occurrence up here in Michigan. So, well, it doesn't cripple us. <laughs> right. Right. It doesn't cripple us. We're, we're used to it. Yes. So I think the biggest thing is people want the four seasons. Michigan has four seasons. You have a very pronounced winter, spring, summer, and fall. Yep. And we're kind of moving into the fall season right now, which kind of makes me sad because I could kind of go for some of that Texas warm weather yet. Right. Right. Well, uh, and just so you guys know, I mean... So Michigan people are, we're interesting. I mean, you know, <laughs> during the middle of the summer, it's blazing hot. Humidity is at 100%, which is something different from what you guys have down yeah. there in Texas. Most of your heat is nice and dry. So 105, yes, it's hot, but it doesn't feel anywhere near as hot as it would here with that sticky, nasty humidity. But at the same time, you know, Texas is big. Yep. Right along the Gulf Coast, you're going to have hot, humid weather. Right. And so this, this video is going to be interesting because Texas is... About its own country right well and yeah and and just to i guess this video we want you guys to understand michigan we never lived in texas so we don't quite understand it the same as you guys so if some of this stuff isn't correct make sure you throw it down in the comments and slap us around a little bit but, but we do know michigan <laughs> yes we do know michigan that's what we want to explain to you guys um so just so you know what to expect so we are coming into the fall season we came out of a very hot summer this year very humid summer super sticky and then literally overnight we go from 90 degrees <laughs> to 50 just yep. like that this morning that's why i'm wearing a coat i was actually wearing a hat this morning like come on michigan are you <laughs> serious 45 degrees right um so it will switch up on a dime but there is a chance that we c still could see mid 80s weather oh yeah for sure so if you're moving here from texas if you're on the gulf coast i don't think the the summers are gonna be that much of a change for you guys if you're in yeah. central to eastern to northern parts of texas where it's very dry uh, very hot, you know, it's not uncommon to have 100 degree weather. It's going to be different. You're not going to have the blistering hot heat, but you will have humidity. Right. And humidity is a lot different than dry heat. Yes. So it's there's gross. that. <laughs> <laughs> there's that. So one of the things that you guys are probably wanting to know, because most of Texas doesn't really get winters. Yeah. Um, let's explain winter a little bit to you guys so you understand what you're in for. Uh, winter here can be brutal, um, but the last couple years really hasn't been that bad. I can remember times when we were kids where we were shut down for a week and a half, two weeks, and for Michigan, that's a big deal. I mean, usually eight to nine inches of snow, they're like, get your butt into work. Uh, <laughs> don't even think about staying home. You know, where most states, eight inches of snow completely shuts the entire state down. Um, you know, one other unique thing about Michigan is the fact that we have Lake Michigan. Majority of the weather is coming unless we get a hurricane like we just had the remnants of one of your hurricanes right. come up here. Uh, most of the time it is going east over Lake Michigan. So Lake Michigan can either destroy storms or supercharge them. And then during the winter time, what we get is lake effect snow. As the cold air goes over the warm lake, it creates moisture and shoots a lot of snow all over the place. We have our own personal snowmaker. Yep. 
Um, so, you know, there's going to be different times during the winter season where, you know, it's super cold, maybe like uh, 10 degrees to zero degrees, maybe a little bit below, no snow on the ground, which that's a, that's the stuff what we don't like. It's like, if it's going to be cold, let's at least have some snow on the ground. Right. Um, so, <laughs> you know, what to expect with lake effect? You know, when you're driving through lake effect snow, you're going to be feeling like you're in a blizzard. And then a couple miles down the road, it's sunshine. Right. And then a couple more miles down the road, boom, it's a blizzard again. Now, the weirdest effect is when you're going, say, from Grand Rapids to, say, the middle of the state, like Lansing, and all of a sudden mm -hmm. it's just a blizzard, and you have, like, inches, if not feet, of snow. And you're going towards Lansing, all of a sudden you get past, say, Portland or something, and it's clear skies, the ground is dry, and mm -hmm. everything else like that. And it's all that lake effect. Now, kind of along the same lines as blizzards and stuff, we don't get hurricanes. Um, no. Down in Texas, you guys kind of get hammered a little bit. I'm not going to yeah. lie. Right along the Gulf Coast here, you guys get hammered. And another surprising fact that I learned just today is that Texas actually has well over 100 tornadoes every year on average. And I didn't know that. Michigan, we have tornadoes, but not nearly Barely as much as, ever. Not as, many, right. as much of what Texas does. And usually our tornadoes are not massive. Like, I think we had a couple this year, but they were like EF1s, maybe EF2. Not even tops. that. It was like EF0 to EF1. Right, right. So we're, we're talking very minimal damage. We're very blessed to have a such a nice barrier with Lake Michigan to kind of neutralize a lot of these really bad storms. Yeah, so and that's a good point. And obviously, you know, we are talking about a lot with weather because if you're coming from those southern states, you know, that's a big topic that people want right. to know about. So when you have a severe thunderstorm warning here, it's very heavy rain, a lot of wind, but it really it never gets above that. I mean, every now and then it will, but majority of the time, like Ross said, that lake really helps to keep us protected here. And, you know, you'll get some down trees, maybe some down telephone wires, but as far as like the major damage that you see on TV where entire towns are flattened, that rarely, rarely happens here. Knock on wood. Yeah, knock on wood. <laughs> be like next week, be like, damn it, Kevin. Well, we have to revise our last video. <laughs> right. right. So, you know, all right, let's jump out of weather. Um, we've hit that pretty hard with you guys. If you have any more questions about the weather, obviously ask us down in the comment section. We'll probably do some more weather specific videos once winter really hits. Yep. Maybe on one of those big days, go Ross and, and I will get some trenching and go do some donuts <laughs> so we can show you guys what it looks like. But And how to drive in it. Right. So let's talk about landscape a little bit. All right. So landscape across Texas is going to be, you know, very flat in some areas. They do have some hilly areas, um, kind of more tropical down towards the Gulf Coast. And I think it's going to be very similar to what you would find here in Michigan. You know, it's relatively flat with some hills, um, but everything here in Michigan is going to be a lot greener because we get a lot more rain than what you guys do down in yep. Texas. So the vegetation is going to be a lot more plentiful, a lot more luscious. You're going to have a lot bigger trees. I would just say a lot more forests. Yeah, it's it's green. It's very green here. Yep. Um, we did do a video north versus south. We'll throw it up here so you guys can check that out. But, uh, you know, south of Grand Rapids is going to be a lot more farmland. There's still going to be quite a few trees, but it's a lot more flat. You get north of Grand Rapids, you start getting into a little more hilly elevations, um, a lot of trees. You know, the, the towns start getting a little bit smaller and, it, you know, that's kind of, you know, I guess the further north you go, the more trees you're going to find, the more green you're going to find. Fall time, it's beautiful. Right, right. I had a pretty high pitch there. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the other big things, we've already mentioned it a couple times in this video, is our lakes. Uh, Michigan has over 11,000 lakes that's a lot of lakes. That's yeah. a lot of water. Um, obviously, you know, Michigan as the hand and we are <laughs> surrounded by fresh water. Now, obviously in Texas, you're going to have the ocean at the Southern border. You know, if you guys are used to that lake life and you do happen to live on a lake there, you're going to find a ton of that here. And if you do love that ocean life, you know, you're going to want to chat with us about figuring out which spots along Lake Michigan are going to fit for you because you're still going to have that same type of feel because you cannot see across Lake Michigan. It is a massive lake. You can get some deep water fishing out there, you know, so the lake life is very, very plentiful here. So to add on your point of, with fishing, you know, there are a lot of charters right along the West Coast, all the way from like Holland, Grand Haven, Muskegon, Saugatuck, all these, all these beach towns, they all offer charters where you can go out and go salmon fishing, coho, 
steelhead, things like that. And obviously, we're not going to have sharks. No. I'm sorry. We're sorry, but not sorry. We're not going to have sharks. Um, as far as the type of nature you'd find here, we do have some bears to the north. We do have a rare occurrence of a mountain lion here and there, but we don't have snakes. No, we don't. Well, we, don't. we have gardener snakes. We got gardener snakes. Blue racers. We don't have the snakes no. and bugs. We don't have the snakes. Right, <laughs> right those, kind of, those kind of snakes. <laughs> we don't have poisonous snakes. No, we don't really have poisonous bugs outside of mosquitoes. Um, Very no. few poisonous spiders. Right. We don't have monster tarantulas like you guys have. Yeah, no. We, we don't deal with that up here. No. Um, luckily, they don't like the cold, so they stay south by you guys. Yep. And we're thankful for that. So... As far as nature goes, you're going to find a lot of greenery. You're going to find, you know, especially when you go up to the Manistee National Forest, you're going to find turkeys, you're going to find white-tailed deer. Uh, when you get up in the UP, you're going to find elk, you're going to find wolves. Uh, you know, we, Kevin and I always kind of joke, uh, Game of Thrones reference, if you're in the UP, it is the north. Yes, it is the north. The great white north. The great white north. Yes. And if you don't know, you have a chance, drive through the UP once, and you'll understand. Yeah, just for you guys to understand, like my family just went to Mackinac Island, which is really cool. If you guys do move here, you've got to check out Mackinac Island. But we wanted to check out Tanquanama Falls up in the Upper Peninsula, about an hour and a half drive from Mackinac City. Hour and 20 minutes of that, we had no cell phone service yep. at all. Not that I care because it was vacation, but it's like just so you understand how remote and open the Upper Peninsula is compared to Lower Michigan. Right. And everything is very spread out and everything moves a lot slower up there. <laughs> yes, so that is true. We don't we don't deal with much up there, to be honest. Uh, a lot of people move to Michigan. They like to stay where there's civilization. Yep. And up the UP does not. And and you know, if you guys are wanting to move up there, I do have multiple different relationships with real estate agents in the Upper Peninsula. So it's not like we can't still help you. Absolutely. So um, let's move in back down south a little bit. Um, <laughs> you know, traffic, oh. um, population here, and the home types. That's what we want to get into real quick with you guys. Um, you know, there's a big difference. Like, we're going to jump out Houston right now just because Houston massive. And I want you guys to understand relative size of Grand Rapids versus, you know, Houston. Houston has 2 million people. Yeah. Grand Rapids has about 200 to 220,000 people. Very much different. That's a big difference. That's Massive very, difference. Right. <laughs> and when you when you consider traffic in that, you know, even just the stats just on traffic, our average commute time is about 20 minutes, yeah. give or take. Average commute time in Houston, closer to a half hour. Now, when you start adding traffic into like traffic jams and stuff, you know, we're, you're, you'd probably be expecting a lot more. In Grand Rapids, if you sit in traffic for a half hour, that is a long time to right. sit in traffic. Even during our construction barrel season, which what we affectionately call our summer season, a construction barrel season. Always. Is, you know, if you're, obviously we have lanes and they get sandwiched down to two lanes or there's an accident or something, you might sit in traffic for a half hour, 45 minutes, if that. That's, so a, that's a long time. A, that's on a very rare occurrence. Right. Where in Houston, you're talking... 10 to 15 lanes. I don't even know if that's true. So if it's not true, I just imagine with 2 million people that you'd have to have that right. many lanes. Um, you know, you guys are sitting in traffic for an hour, hour and a half, two hours, and that's to get 15 miles, you know? So here it's going to be a lot slower. There's nowhere near as many people. Um, so there's not as much competition either. You know, you got to think with 2 million people, how much housing you guys need compared to how much housing we need here. Um, so the, your chances of finding a house here are going to be pretty good, especially if you're working with these guys. Um, <laughs> 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 so on that subject, let's jump into houses. Um, you know, what are you going to find for houses here? Our average price point here in the Grand Rapids metro area is right around the two to two hundred and twenty thousand dollar range. Um, now, the suburbs all around are all going to be different. You know, you've got East Grand Rapids. You're probably getting close to a five hundred thousand dollar average price point. Eight is probably 450 range. Yeah. You know, you've got Rockford to the north. That's probably like $380,000 range. You know, then you can go over to Ross's area and Byron Center. That's probably in the mid 300 to low $400,000 range. Um, you know, so all around the outskirts, a lot of people like to live here in Grand Rapids because our commute's only 20 minutes to downtown, 20, 30 minutes to downtown, and you can get more space. Yeah. And I would agree. And it's not like everybody works in Grand Rapids. Everybody works 
around Grand Rapids. Really? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's a lot of opportunities on these outskirts and you don't have to necessarily be downtown Grand Rapids. And then like Byron Center. Byron Center is absolutely stunning. You've got rolling hills throughout there. That's a lot of young professionals. That's a lot of the um, healthcare representatives over there because you know if there's one thing that you guys don't know about grand rapids it's that we have medical mile in downtown gr it's a ton of opportunity if you're in the medical field to find housing there and if you are a doctor we've already helped a couple doctors by here there's plenty of higher end housing opportunities for us so don't think that it's just four hundred thousand dollar opportunities right. there's quite a few different million dollar house houses in ada in east grand rapids um, along the lake shore there's there's lots of opportunities absolutely and continuing on track with the housing what style housing would you find here you know it's very common i think our most common house is a three bedroom two bath um, we do have basements here which is going to be a big difference for a lot of people moving here because michigan and the midwest are very common to have basements where outside of that it's very uncommon right. now if you don't know basements don't worry we know them very well. We both yep. we both lived in a house with basements and stuff. We've had we've helped a couple people move here from other states that said I don't understand basements and it's not that big of a deal. So pretty much what you're what you're getting is three levels. If you're if you're buying a two story home, you're getting three levels on the same size footprint. You know, and don't be afraid of basements because believe it or not, a lot of us <clears throat> Michiganders have living spaces in the basements. Oh yeah. You know, so they're not scary. When you go into a lot of the basements here, they feel the same as the upstairs. It's just that you're below ground level. Um, you know, a lot of them have nine foot, 10 foot ceilings. So you can get houses and you can get a ranch in a two story where you don't have to go really upstairs and your basement is your, you've got multiple bedrooms down there. You've got a bathroom down there. You have a large rec space for your family, you know, so that's what to expect. Don't think like creepy crawly dungeon damp and gross yeah those are here but there's not as many of those as there is basements that you can live in and i would care to bet that the styling of homes is going to be very similar to what you would find in texas some big differences you would find in michigan versus texas is we don't have as much stucco siding and no, we have not as much brick either not as much brick and we have a lot more asphalt or composite shingles instead of a clay shingle like right. you would find in the in the warmer temperatures Correct. Some things to look after when you guys do start looking at houses. These are not big issues for us. We've dealt with them all of our lives, so we know the ins and outs. We're not builders by any means, but we know our ins and outs a little bit. Right. Absolutely. So, you know, there is a lot more stuff we could go into in this video, but I don't want to bore you guys. So you're if right. there is any more information you want that you're not getting, please put that stuff down in the comment section. Um, again, if you guys are looking to move here, have a conversation with us. A lot of times we like you to get here or start talking to us you know five six months ahead of time before you want to move here that way we have time to plan with you have time to you know figure out the right house the right area for you guys um, but we love 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 helping you you know we like making these videos but we definitely love helping you guys more so make sure you reach out ross and i will talk to you and yeah let's get you moved to michigan all right that being said have a good one yeah see you guys